Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de K6HX, and I just thought I'd show off this little beacon controller that I wrote. Um, I did this once before with a much cruder program, well not much cruder, this one's still incredibly trivial, but um, I thought I'd, uh, I didn't have that code lying around so I thought I'd do this again. Uh, these little Arduinos are actually pretty cool little microcontroller boards, all you really need to program them is a USB cable, they have programming software that's really easy to install and runs on uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is really good because I'm using my little MacBook here. And uh, you just hook them up to a USB and you're pretty much done. I've got the uh, keying output currently going to just the little LED, which is wired on pin 13 of the Arduino. Uh, pin 13 actually has a custom, uh, or has a resistor in line with it so that it's current limiting. So it's convenient to do that as an indicator. In the real deployed system, I would have it go to a little keying transistor and then we'd be in good shape. Um, so if you're good at Morse code, or at least reading it visually, you might have be, been able to decode what it's sending. It's actually sending uh, K6HX uh, slash B for beacon uh, CM87. And if we go to the serial monitor, uh, actually also echo these commands out via the, the serial port, and you'll see that it's saying K6HX slash B and then CM87 eventually. And there's nothing really going on here. Um, if we, uh, there's a little reset switch here on the Arduino. If we hit the reset, um, it'll actually uh, stop the thing temporarily, and it takes a few seconds for the bootloader to time out. And then it should dump a little message for me. Yep, indicating that it's my code, and then it just starts up again. And um, I've currently got a character set that includes all the letters and numbers and a few punctuation marks. Um, it just endlessly loops the uh, message with a three second time delay in between. But that's really about it. It's really about as simple as you can get. Uh, if, uh, if you actually wanted to uh, do this for real, it's sort of overkill. It's 35 bucks worth of equipment when, in fact, just the little tiny microprocessor would obviously do it that you could get for about three bucks. But yeah, I'm going to have one of these lying around. And, you know, it's also good for. Uh, Eventually, uh, you know, you could train it to do all sorts of other things. It has pulse width modulation output, so you could do actually a side tone. I don't have a speaker to hook it to right now, so I haven't bothered to do that, but I probably will. And, you know, you could just tinker with it, turn your hardware pro projects into a software project. Anyway, the code's on my blog, which is at http colon colon, uh, colon slash slash brainwagon.org. Check it out. Enjoy. The code's free. <laughs> have a good day. 73s.